In this video, we're going to take a look at how Picasso can help you organize your, your pictures and some interesting shortcuts maybe of how you can get from Picasso to the real files on your computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a folder here that contains a bunch of different pictures of family and different uh, kind of artistic shots perhaps. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to set up a, I see here I have a couple of pictures of some doors, and I think I, I took a couple, quite a few pictures, I thought there were quite a few interesting doors as I walked around the streets of Vancouver, um, and I just randomly took pictures of them, so, anyway, they don't, maybe they don't belong with some of the other pictures here, so what if I wanted to move them to their own folder? Well, moves in Picasso uh, are equivalent to moving the actual real file on your computer too. So if you move, uh, for example, this picture here of the blue door to a new folder, it will be moved, the real file will be moved on your computer as well. I find it easiest to, rather than select a whole bunch of pictures and put them down in the tray here, I'm just going to pick one picture um, and I'm going to, when I right click on that picture, I see move to new folder up here. If I select that option, I just have to give it a title related to my theme. Uh, and I'm going to call it Doors uh, in Vancouver. <clears throat> now, notice the date that came up. Today's date is actually February 28th. It thinks it's February 5th. Uh, if I want to date it to today, just kind of keep it current, I can. If I want to leave the date that was on the photo, I think that's what it's pulling it from, is from the date I actually took the picture. But if I choose, I can change the date to any date I like. I could, for example, click today and, and give it today. And, and then it will update that. And I click OK. Now that picture has been now been moved from that album, uh, that trip to Vancouver album. It's now in its own folder on my computer. The nice thing about having that folder now set up here in my folders is that if I find other doors, I can drag them onto that folder and let it go. It's going to give you a warning each time you do this. Are you sure you want to move that file? Move files will, will make it happen. So I just scroll down. I'll pick a few other doors. Here's a red one. Are you sure you want them? Yes, I do. Here's one I found that was painted. Yeah, I'd like to move that file. And here's another painted doorway and a, and a couple other doors. I'll just quickly drag them into that doors in Vancouver and drag them in there. Move that one. Uh, there's a door. Yep. There's a wooden door with a porthole through it. I'll move that one. And another wooden doorway. Uh, maybe I'll just leave that one for now. Uh, one more door, I'll drag that in. Okay. So there you have it. That's one quick way of organizing your picture files into a real folder that exists on your computer. If you want to check out the real pictures on where they live in your computer, you can do that through Picasso as well. Uh, simply click on the yellow folder. It actually shows you the path up here just underneath the folder if I just hover on that folder for a moment. And if I just click once on that yellow folder, it's going to open a new window uh, in front of my um, Picasso window that shows me my files. Now, I don't like this view. The view it's chosen is film strip, and I always change it to thumbnails because I don't like the film strip view. I'm going to change it to thumbnails. That way you get a better view of the doors. And you'll see they're actually all pictures I took sideways, and Picasso has... Um, rotated them automatically for me. So that's one more nice thing about Picasso. And that's it for now. We've taken pictures from, I'll just close this window, from Picasso and organized them into a new folder that exists uh, on our uh, computers. Thanks for watching.